Hello, I received another uh, malicious document that I'm going to analyze now. Now just one remark uh, before I begin. If you saw my previous video that uh, I released on the 1st of April 2018, that was actually uh, my April Fool's video because uh, it's a real analysis of a PDF document, but uh, this time I'm speaking in uh, the local dialect of uh, Brussels, uh, my hometown. So it's an office document that I'm analyzing here. So with Oli dump. I'm taking a look. Again, we can already see that it contains macros here, uh, macros and the M indicator. But before we look into the macros themselves, I um, also remark that there is a large stream here, uh, stream 15, that's about 400k of uh, data and if you see entries like these streams like this uh, with macros a name and slash f uh, slash o those are actually uh, forms uh, vba forms with uh, properties and in the f uh, stream you have the name of the property and in the o stream you have uh, the value of the property and malware routers will often hide uh, elements of the malicious documents and sometimes even the full payload in the uh, properties of uh, VBA macro uh, VBA forms for example so we can have a look in stream 15 like this okay and uh, we can see here that we have hexadecimal data and it starts with 4d5a if you don't know uh, this by heart 4d5a those uh, are ascii letters mz right? so that's uh, the start uh, of a windows executable so this could be a, a windows executable and you can see uh, it goes on for quite some pages so we are going to try to uh, decode this and we can use my base64 dump uh, tool for this because base64 dump can not only dump base64 encoding but also other encodings like hexadecimal so we select stream 15 and this time we want to dump the binary content and not do an ascii hexadecimal dump but we want to dump the stream itself so with option d and then we pipe this into base64 dump now by default base64 dump will uh, try to find base64 string strings but here we are going to use an other encoding we are going to instruct base64 dump to use hexadecimal encoding so and indeed uh, as you can see here mz and uh, the start of a pe file here you have uh, the md5 hash of uh, the decoded base64 string and if you look that up on virus total for example you will see that it is indeed uh, malware now we can decode this one extract this one so we launch our command again we select the first element and we dump this and by doing this we uh, dump uh, the data well let's first do an ascii dump and look uh, at the beginning like this and you can see here indeed this program cannot be run in dos mode huh? so it certainly looks like a pe file so we are going to pipe this into my tool pe check that uh, will do some analysis of uh, pe files like this no so yeah that's a mistake of me i did a ascii dump and i want to do a binary dump like this now it will work okay and indeed it has recognized the pe file with all kinds of information and in the end here we can see uh, that it's actually uh, a visual basic uh, executable 